Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you my incubator. It's basically a Coleman, an old cooler that I had. And that's pretty much it. Everything you're going to need. I got this uh, aquarium heater. I got a small little water pump. Nothing, nothing big. Just something to circulate the water. Let's put those outside. There's a little nozzle that goes to it. And this is vermiculite, which is what I incubate my eggs in. That's one tray. And ha ha ha, there's the eggs from my old, my other little dudes that popped out. My little dragons. And this, they tell me don't save all this crap. And luckily, this was a grid from a fan, one of those big box fans. And I cut that out to fit the size. And then your supports. Basically, these are some tiles that I just had lying around. And uh, you're going to stack these up so that they're, they're basically equal in height. i put one over here. And you're going to put one over there. Do it that way. Make it look nice. Okay, and these were stuck to the... Uh, the heater, the little suction cups for the heater just to keep it down in the water. And then basically your cooler, you can put bricks if you want, a chunk of brick, anything to keep it above the water level. Uh, you're going to fill it up just so that your grid, this guy's going to sit right on top there. And you want your water level to be just below your grid, um, of course, before all that goes in. Cut a little slot right here for your electrical, and you put your heater in there, and I suction it to the uh, the tile just so it doesn't come out. And then a little water pump right here. And this guy suctions to the back, and a little nozzle pushes the water basically off the heater and circulates the water and that's what it does basically and so you got your heater in i set it uh start low and work your way up i set it to 70 something 72 and depending on what you're breeding of course or what you're incubating find out what the, the moderate temperature is for them and set it at that and work your way up uh, i also have external thermometers with probes and I have two, I have three of them actually, um, just so that there's a base. Some of them might be above or uh, a little higher, a little lower, but that way you have a gradual, you know, all three of them can't be wrong. And that's pretty much it. You slide your electrical wires into here, just slide them in there, just get them in there nicely. Just tuck them in. And make sure not to damage them, of course. Get in there, damn it. Okay. There you go. There's one. And then you're looking to get a pump. There's two. Alright. Careful, of course, with the heater. This one's glass. If you have those plastic new ones, then you're good. And that's the setup right there, basically. With water, you suction to the back. And there's your little pump. There's your heater. You know, fill up some water. Put your grate in. Get your grid in. Okay. You got a couple of thermometer probes. Stick one here, stick one here, and have one right in the middle of your, your beds. There's one. And there's two. And you could probably fit three in there. And that's it. And, you know, the water level, the humidity stays great because you don't have to add any water. There's water circulating underneath, basically. And a little pump, your water heater, and circulate the water around. And you got your incubators. And work better than a medical-grade incubator because I had to keep adding water to that one. And 99% hatch rate. In fact, all of mine popped. Uh, so it works great. And it's worth making. Thanks for watching, guys.